What's up YouTube? This week I want to show you these new stick and poke tattoo tools that I 3D designed and printed myself and I'm hoping to put out there on the market in the near future. I'm also going to show you a short demonstration and this is how they look. The reason I'm waiting to put these out is because I want to make them out of material that's fully autoclavable. These here are made out of ABS. I designed this tool myself, but I got the head of the feathered serpent from Thingiverse and I will put the link in the description below. First, you make sure you make a stencil. This here is the God of Death. Then always put on gloves and sterilize the area you're going to tattoo. I like to use stencil stuff for all of my stencils. You just apply a drop or two and push your stencil onto the area that you want to tattoo. Today, I'm using True Black from Intense. Always use a new needle and ink cap for every tattoo. This here is a one round liner and I like to use ones and threes because they always give you more intricate lining. I added a hook on the bottom of my tool so that I can put rubber bands on top of the needles to hold them stronger in place. I made it this way so that you may be able to use magnum shaders. You should always use practice skin before ever tattooing a person. I use a mixture of green soap and water in a spray bottle which is wrapped in plastic to avoid contamination. With shading, I like to hit the corners and come out from dark to light. <laughs> 